Yo, what is going on, people? We are back with some more of this Road to Average. It's been a while since I played this game. I haven't played this game um, seriously in about um, about a month, probably a little, maybe a little bit more. But man, it, it, it definitely it definitely feels good to be back on it, man. I love this game. I just can't play it too often because uh, I don't know what that was. I just can't play it too often because I get frustrated with all the losing. Maybe if I, you know, maybe if I played it more often, then I wouldn't uh, make mistakes like that when I probably should have been able to kill him, and like that where I probably shouldn't have been able to kill him. But uh, you know, go ahead and kick him in the face and that one. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, this match, or well, this session was recorded on February 17th. So, yeah. 17th. But, um, definitely, I mean, I felt like this, this was a good night, though, overall. I played pretty well, a lot better than I expected to play. Won some matches, you know, I lost some matches, but overall, I think it was a good night, man. I played really well. Definitely got, uh, something to build on going forward. I don't know why I'm pausing in between, you know, pausing right in the middle of a sentence. But, you know, <laughs> that's what we do. When you're cool like me, you know, you can do things like that. But anyway, I want to talk about, um, that, uh, should have finished that combo. Well, I think I did finish that combo. But, I want to talk about, uh, you know, my channel. And, um, one thing that I've noticed, like, I, I never, I don't watch any of my own videos because uh, I hate the sound of my own voice, honestly. I really do, can't stand it. But you know, I mean, obviously if I'm talking, I gotta hear myself, that's fine. But when I hear my own voice played back for me to hear, I can't stand it. It, it, it bugs me to no end, I can't even explain how badly it, it irritates me to hear my own voice played back for me. But uh, so I never really check my commentaries after I do them. I just kind of, you know, I don't do, you know, quadruple takes on videos and, you know, I do one take if I forget something that I really wanted to talk about in the video, I'll either record the whole thing over, find a little piece to cut out and put that in there, but for the most part, you know, I do it all in one take, so I don't ever, you know, I don't ever really go back and play it back and so I can hear it. And it's, you know, and then, you know, this whole, uh, sports commentator thing came up. And, you know, I was actually going through looking to find out what I thought was my best video. And the one, and right here, I was trying to, uh, uppercut and focus cancel, and I guess he read it. I should have, should have altered, but, you know, it's easier to say that now because I've already lost the match. But, um... What was I going to say? Yeah, I was going through. They said, you know, pick what you think was your best video. I already sent one in. And it was pretty much like, you know, I went through a few of my videos, actually listened to me talk. And I was like, man, you know, I was like, man, I sound, I sound boring. I do sound boring. I kind of do. And it's because I think it's because my voice comes through so low. I don't, you know, I don't. I talk a lot louder than I definitely come through on the mic. I can, I can assure you that. I'm not speaking too too loud right now, but I bet you when when I when I listen to it back, because I'm 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 gonna start you know I, I'm you know I'm gonna start checking them, make sure the quality's good and you can hear me. But I bet you when I play this back, I come through really low. And also, um, you know, fuck Chun Li though. <clears throat> but. I don't know, man. Like I just I come through so low, but and and definitely like if if you ever been in a party with me on Xbox or whatever, you'll know I'm just about one of the one of the hypest dudes in the party. Like if it's me and say if it's me and my boy Goon or Bo or Banger, Sin, Ben, AG, anybody, any of my homeboys that I, that I kick it with on Xbox, you know my boy Kid. I just, Shout out to Kid. You know, I'm just about the most hype dude in the party. 
always. And then, for some reason, that doesn't really translate to my videos. Like, I'm very laid back, very calm by nature. This is how I am. And, it, and I think that's just that's how I come across in the videos. I come across as real, just kind of calm, laid back, chill. And I think it definitely... I lose some of that, that, that hype factor in my videos because I don't really get very hype during my videos. And I think uh, part of that comes with me just, you know, when I'm recording, I can I get hype at stuff that happens. And that's kind of why I want to go toward, you know, kind of move toward, um, go ahead and get back down to the ground. I want to move toward doing more live comms for my videos and stuff. Because I think it'll, it'll help me bring out better quality in my videos and make them better to watch, make, maybe make them better to listen to. I don't know about better to watch, but it should probably make it better to listen to than just me kind of chilling, you know, talking on low in my deep voice. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully you guys will like it more. I started, uh, you know, I, that's why I, I kind of messed around with the uh, the Call of Duty stuff, you know, to, to try to live calm stuff out. Started, uh... I'm glad I do get hit by that, because if I didn't hit him with that focus, he would have he would have definitely killed me. But uh, I definitely think you know the the live comp stuff will help me bring out some more you know some more of that hype, you know, so because I'm it's hard for me to react to something when I know what's going to happen. Like it's just you know it's hard it just it's almost impossible for me to get hype when I already know that I'm going to get this dunk. You <laughs> know, it's you know it's just it's difficult. I can fake it, but you know, only girls fake stuff, not dudes. Dudes don't fake nothing. Well, like I, well, Goon does fake it, being good at making beats, but it's different. It's different. It's different. Shoutouts to Goon. But anyway, also, I'm gonna put this out there. My boy Goon, he's gonna start making uh, gaming videos. So definitely, if you like watching uh, Madden, and he's gonna start doing some my team stuff on 2K. If you like watching that kind of stuff, man, go check him out because he's going to start doing that pretty soon, maybe next month sometime. So, you know, whenever he does put his first one up, I'll do a uh, shout out link video type of deal. So y'all can go check that out. But, um, definitely. I think live com is just kind of the way to go for me right now. That's what I want to do. That's what I've been trying to do for a long time, even though I don't really have the setup to make it easy I think I can definitely I definitely can do it it just takes a little bit more work so it might cut down on um, cut back on my my videos not necessarily cut back on the videos but cut, cut back on how many I upload each week like I think um, what I want to do is get to a point where I upload two two to four a week luckily I dodged that and I've been pretty good with that so far. I mean, lately, I've been really good with that. And, uh, you know, I don't see any reason why I can't keep that going. The whole live commentary thing. And this, I was trying to Ultra. Ultra didn't come out. I should have backed up anyway, because I think the I mean, he, that would have went through my Ultra anyway, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, there's that. What was I talking about? videos yeah it shouldn't really uh, cut into how many videos I can put up you know that, that I'm it's still gonna be around the same you know maybe I should do this over a uh, 2k video because not many people watch my Street Fighter stuff maybe I should I probably should but oh will and uh, yeah I think you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to start being a little more creative in my videos I, I always have all these ideas that I want to use, but I very rarely put them to use, and uh, I just wasn't paying attention. I just I got beat pretty bad that game. You just he just kept he back dashed after everything, and I just you know I wasn't I didn't adjust to it like I should have. But uh, I don't know. I think that's enough about this. Let's go ahead and get to the Street Fighter. I was playing Dan for a little bit. I started off playing with Cody. 
wanted to play uh, I wanted to play with Ken for a little bit, but I just decided to leave him alone. I was playing all right with Cody, and then I jumped into a game and I heard Dan's theme song, and I was like, man, I want to play with Dan. I gotta play with Dan. Played with if you know that first game I played with him. I think I think I won the first game I played with him, and then it just you know I had that game the the game against the Goken that you saw earlier, and I just jumped right into that. That could have won me the match if I didn't jump into that. And right here, I should have been I should have been ready for that. Should have pumped that ultra out, or had the uh, the Zonk Knuckle charged up, but I didn't. Ended up losing. But uh. I noticed just from, from watching these that I went for that a lot of the same combos just over and over and over when uh, I need to work on maybe mixing my combos up maybe doing more damaging combos because I don't get as much damage off of my, my combos and I don't know why I did that don't know why you know I don't maximize my damage as much as I can I definitely did better doing that this night I think that, that was a really good block because I Show was just guessing there that he was gonna cross me up, cause that if I if I didn't block that he would have won that round most definitely. But uh, yeah, don't know what I was doing there. I saw him charging it up for some reason. I was like, hey, let me hit this guy. You know he's gonna he's not gonna let this focus attack go. And see, I know um, somebody told me I need to work on my uh, my hit confirms. Cause I was pretty much like if um there. Anytime I would I would throw that low kick out, I pretty much went right into the uh criminal upper. And you know, it and even if they blocked it, that's pretty much like if you know and apparently this doesn't work, at least I know now. And uh, you know, if you if you know how to if you know the timing for it, you can punish it pretty easily. And I can take a lot of damage off of that. So I need to be more careful with that and um, probably pay more attention but I think that's one of the things that just kind of comes more with uh, with playing the game and I don't play nearly enough so maybe I just need to play more think about getting some uh, some projects in with my boy Goon we're gonna try some things out and see see what we can do I definitely want to start a start a let's play up I don't know if I'm I don't know if I could be entertaining for a whole let's play. Kind of difficult. Cuz I do kind of get a uh, I get hungry. You know, things like that happen. And uh right here I knew this dude was he was he wanted to land his ultra. I knew he did cuz that's why he kept backing up and not trying to hit me. So I figured if I can get to a point where he's low on life and I can bait this ultra out, I should be able to kill him. So I jumped, figuring he would do it, tried the ultra, <laughs> and I got rocks, and then I get thrown and lose the match. And my favorite, I get to fight against a Vega, and um, lately, you know, I, when I, whenever I would fight him, I always kind of just chalked it up to a loss. You know, I just figured, you know, it's Vega, I'm going to lose because I don't know how to fight him. But I think um, lately I've been actually playing a lot better against Vegas. I don't know if it's um, I'm not really sure what it is, but I've, I've definitely taken a more aggressive approach toward uh, toward going against Vegas and Bisons, like pretty much any charge character except for maybe, well, no, definitely Gal. I'm a lot more aggressive, and I try to stay on top of them, try to uh, keep them from charging their moves up, and I get thrown right there wasn't expecting to throw should have maybe just uh you know woke up with something woke up with an ex attack or something but mm, watch your legs and i cannot get that link to come out i'm gonna I'm practice it like after the uh two or three jabs and right there i messed up with the two or three jabs and the low kick i can't get that link to come out I can get the one with the medium punch to come out though, that's pretty easy. But for some reason I think it's just uh I'm not doing the attack quick enough on the uh cancelable the frames that you can cancel out of the low kick, I'm not doing the the attack quick enough. So that's what I kinda need to work on. 
So maybe I'll go into practice mode after this video is done and go ahead and work on that. See if I can do it. Go ahead and get off me. I thought that that kick should have hit. Go ahead and get up out of there. And I lost. I don't know what I was trying to do there. I think I was trying to jump back with something. Not too sure. But uh, I definitely feel like, you know, that game was... For losing two straight rounds, I definitely feel like that... That match was really close. And I, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable fighting against Vegas than I used to. Don't know why I do that so much. You know, see, when, I, when I see them charging their focus up, I dash toward them. Don't know why I do that. Maybe I should back up a little bit. You know, start backing up. But, uh... Playing against Ball Road, man, I don't really... And I, I was not expecting that, man. I don't know why I wasn't... He was sitting there crouched. I should have known he was charging that up. Luckily, I took that throw. Go ahead and hit him in the legs. Go ahead and finish that one off. And uh, I think yeah, there's definitely something I need to start doing is back dashing when they're charging their focus, you know, focus attack up. But one thing I different, I hate fighting Balrog because his jab is so, so quick. And see, that's what I'm, that's what I mean by taking a lot of damage off of that. I shouldn't have done it because I saw he was blocking. Figured he would probably let go. Didn't work. Tried to anti-air. Gets crushed. Tried to block. He throws me block again he throws me and then he just kind of walks up and throws me again and that's pretty much the round so um yeah but uh definitely think you know with the way the first round went you know I've already beaten them around so I know that I can beat them I just you know have to play better than I did in the second round and that's not a good start go ahead and take that throw I noticed he had gotten into that into that pattern of um you know throwing me after the uh, the first jab if I was blocking so I started doing that but I don't respect the EX headbutt <laughs> and I get caught in the ultra luckily I fall out of it I don't know how I fell out but I did so trying to put a little bit of pressure on you know maybe force him to do that again I get it I get him to do it don't punish it well don't punish it fully going in and uh luckily I ended up taking this throw like I said after the first jab Hit him a little focus and kick him in the chest for the W. So overall, pretty good night. I don't I don't know if I won more matches than I lost, but I definitely ended with more points than I started with. Which is always the goal. Ended with around I think it was twelve fourteen. But definitely thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Catch y'all later. Peace.